Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Heribert, one of the most renowned prelates of the Diocese of Cologne. Saint Heribert was born to Count Hugo of Worms in the Palatinate of the Rhine. Brilliant and always eager to learn, he was educated at the Cathedral School of Worms and the celebrated Abbey of Gorz in Lorraine. He was attracted by the lives of the Benedictine monks there and would have joined them had not his father recalled him to Worms where he was given a canary and ordained priest. Heribert gained the confidence of Emperor Otto III becoming not only his chancellor but also his friend, adviser and companion. On the eve of Christmas in the year 998 he was consecrated archbishop of Cologne in the cathedral of St Peter and from that moment on he devoted himself to the duties of his high calling. He never allowed his state of affairs to hinder him from his spiritual duties. On the opposite side of the Rhine at Dutz he and Otto established a monastery and a church. What remained of his income, Heribert would divide among the poor and sick, whom he constantly visited and comforted. Once, at a time of great drought, the archbishop led a penitential procession. Entering the church of Saint Severinus, Heribert gave himself to prayer. Scarcely had he risen from his knees when torrential rain poured down upon the city and the harvest was saved. He accompanied the emperor on a visit to Italy where Otto died. In keeping with the latter's wishes, his mortal remains were laid to rest at Aachen. Duke Henry of Bavaria, who succeeded Otto, misinterpreted the doings of Heribert. But Heribert won him over by his life of virtue, leading to a public reconciliation between the two. On a visit to Neuss, Heribert contracted fever. of which he died on the 16th of march 1021 after having received the viaticum with great fervor at the tomb of dutz many miracles came to be attributed to his intercession he is still invoked for rain saint heribert was canonized by pope saint gregory the 7th sometime between 1073 and 1074